Hello everyone. Today I just wanted to demonstrate the project that we created at the University of Chicago in January. So I worked with two graduate students from IIT and we were able to create an Amazon Alexa skill that was able to diagnose speech and language development disorders in children. And we created everything using the Alexa skill kit and then just Amazon's Lambda serverless architecture for the back end. And of course, everything <laughs> written in Python. So the reason I wanted to make this video is primarily for those of you who develop Amazon Echo or Alexa skills. If you develop for the platform, you know that there are a ton of limitations that prevent you from uh, doing some very specific things. And one of the biggest limitations of developing for the Alexa is that you don't actually get the full utterance that is said to your Alexa skill. So there's a ton of processing that is done um, on the Echo itself before it's sent to the developer who hosts the skill. So for instance, if you had a skill that told you a time in a specific location, if you said, ask time skill what time it is in Italy, Amazon would break that up into an intent name that's likely like what time or something like that, and then a slot name, which would be Italy. So the developer would receive a response that had these two values listed, but they would never get um, the exact words that the user who triggered the skill said. So they would never see the words, what time is it in Italy? They would just see the slot name, the intent name, and the values for these two variables. So this makes it extremely difficult, if not impossible, for developers to implement something like a search function into their Alexa skill. So this was a feature that was crucial to getting our skill to work properly, as we had to find the exact way that that child was pronouncing certain words, because we used that to create the diagnosis. So I'm first going to show you guys the skill itself, and then afterwards I'm going to explain how we were able to manipulate slot values to get that full utterance, and then store it to create the diagnosis. Alexa Speech Therapy and Diagnostic Tool. We can detect early onset childhood speech disorders. Start a diagnosis. Repeat the following sentence. The gum was stuck under the desk and I couldn't get it off. The gum was stuck under the desk and I couldn't get it off. So I'm going to skip the following sentences because they get progressively longer and I'm going to go right to the results phase which is going to be right here. Your diagnosis has been generated. Your report identification number 659. So now we go over to our report generation and go to 659 which can be found. So 659. So we go over to our number, 659, we submit, and it generates our fluency report. And you can see here, we have our diagnosis, as well as the uh, different score, the stutter count, the incomplete and partial word count, and the M to N score, which is uh, specific times in which I said the letter N in place of the letter M and TH to W score, which is where I used WA instead of THE. And then you can see the three sentences that we were tested on. You can see the amount of correct words that the Alexa picked up, um, and you can see the report ID that the Alexa said at the end of our conversation. So yeah, thank you for checking out our project. So you can see right here, this is just the Alexa Skill Kit web app. And you can see we have one intent that's called read sentence. And then in this intent, we have one sample utterance that contains 40 slot values. And then if you notice in this right corner here, all of these slot values are equal to the same slot type, which is called word list. And then I was going to show you guys the values in the word list slot type, but unfortunately I am unable to do that with Chrome because it's so large. Um, if I remember correctly, this is... Is I think like six or sixty thousand words in this word list so it's looking for all of these words for every one of the slot values and then it sends these to the developer so in my case me in the form of JSON and it contains all of these uh, slot value names as well as the values themselves and then you can see that there are actually 40 different slots that it's looking for, yet almost none of the sentences that we are testing with have even close to 40 words in them. Um, but what Amazon does is it will still send you these values, but it will send them as none, as long as you don't have them as required values. And in our case, this is the ideal way of doing it, because the user might say 12 words, or they might say 40 words, and we'll be able to get the utterance either way. 
So a huge aspect of this project was making sure that it would create an accurate diagnosis based on the ways in which different words were mispronounced. So a ton of the testing went into intentionally mispronouncing words to see how the diagnosis would change. So right here I have a response that Amazon sent um, after I basically interacted with a skill. Uh, this is the JSON response that Amazon sends to the developer. And then on the right, just broken up in a way that's easier to read. So you can see here, um, I have a slot value called word one. Now Amazon didn't know the exact word that I said in this slot value. So it sent me five different things that it thought I said, and these are ranked. So in our case, for all of the responses we got, we picked the uh, you know lowest value, so it would be zero. So in this case, I said I. And then you can see that all of the slot names are just broken into like different numbers, but just written letters instead. So for instance, word 29, word one. So what we did is we created a Python function that converted the words word 27 into just the number 27, or word 24 into the number 24. And then put these into an ordered list and then combine them using spaces, which essentially created the full utterance and then it allowed us to print it. So I'll show you the logs now in which we printed the response that was actually said to the echo. So you guys can see right here at 827, this is the full utterance that was said to the echo, even to the point where I mispronounced the word so. And I think what actually happened there was that I said so awesome really quickly, uh, which is not the right way of doing it. And it picked up that it was said incorrectly, which means that it was even more accurate than initially intended. So if it saw the word if it said so awesome, and that's not exactly how I said it, that it wouldn't be an accurate utterance. So that's ideally what we were looking for, because we're looking for ways that children are mispronouncing words and then basing the diagnosis off of that. So it's very interesting um, that we were actually able to get it working properly, and I hope that you guys can implement something similar into your Alexa skills to implement something like you know a search function or even just more accurate ways of interacting with the user. If you can get the full utterance, it can allow you to create much more personalized responses rather than just dealing directly with slot values. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below.